Hello, I am Declan Gill of the Solaris Society Opinions, one place on earth all relevant opinions matter. It is fantastic as always to see all of you lovely people here today. Please, before I say anything in this video, click like, click the bell so you never, you never miss another notification. Share this video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below because we really want to know what you think of our content. Okay, so today is two years since the passing of the man who has done the most James Bond movies. Unless you count Never Say Never Again, in that case he's tied with Sean Connery. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this day, two years ago, Roger Moore passed away in Switzerland. He was the oldest actor to take on the role of Bond when they first took it on. He was 45 years old. And he was the first Englishman to take on the role. Connery was a Scot, Lazenby Aussie. Dalton Welch, Brosnan Irish, and Craig. Well, he's the first official EON Bond. Unless you want to count David Niven or Peter Sellers. But whether you do or not is up to you. Roger Moore was being sought to play Bond all the way back as far as the very first movie. He was actually one of the original six contenders. But... Nah, he couldn't do it then. However, in a TV special in 1964, he did actually play James Bond for the first time. I'll see if I can find that and link it down in the description, just for you people since I've brought it up. Then, when Connery stepped down after You Only Live Twice, Moore was again considered for On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Couldn't do it. Timothy Dalton decided... At the time, 1969, he was 23 years old. I think I'm just too young. Ultimately, Lazenby got the role. And then, they wanted Sean Connery back after Lazenby stepped down after one movie. Connery did one movie and said he was never doing another Bond movie. Until Never Say Never Again, which was basically Thunderbolt. So, whatever way you want to look at it, people. And so then, Roger Moore took over the role in 1973 and after you for your eyes only in 1981 he considered retiring from Bond and Thanos's dad that's right James Brolin people was the favorite to replace him but then at the last minute more did Octopussy and then a view to a kill he was 57 when he stepped down he was 58 when the movie actually came out, and that was the last of Roger Moore's James Bond. One of the best moments about Roger Moore as Bond wasn't actually in the movies. He was presenting the Irving Thalberg Award to Colby Broccoli, Albert or Broccoli if you want to look him up, movie producer of the first 17 Bond movies, and now his stepson and his daughter have taken over. But... I believe his words were, We're here today to honour a great man. I have to say that he's been paying my rent for the last ten years. <laughs> and it was all because of one man with a very memorable number. Double O four. Sorry. <laughs> Roger tried to make a joke out of everything. Poor Desmond Llewellyn, who passed away himself in 1999 after nine, doing 17 Bond movies himself despite there being 19. Two, he wasn't in, but... Say la vie. When Roger was on set with Desmond, he actually messed with the script to try and make some of Desmond's already very difficult dialogue worse. He was a jokester. Right up until his death, from what I remember. So, two years gone by. Missed always. My opinion, the second greatest actor to play James Bond. Just before I go, he was the first one to actually put just a sprinkle of humour into Bond that... Uh, Connery had already put in some dry wit, but Moore was cracking jokes left, right and centre as Bond. Why not? Two years gone, always missed, never forgotten. Rest in peace, Sir Roger. I've been Declan Gale, I'm signing off.